on how to create an Xcode project, set up a Bitbucket Git repository, and commit the code that you need to. So we're going to start first to create a new Xcode project. I opened Xcode, clicked Xcode project, and I'm going to create a single view application for this project. Click next. For this one, I'm going to set my bundle identifier so that it's my name, and then set a product name of intro. It doesn't matter really which language it is unless I know which I'm working on, either Objective-C or Swift. For this intro, it's just going to leave it as Objective-C. The device is a universal device, meaning that it can be on both iPhone and iPad. For this one, we're not going to have any core data, unit tests, or UI tests, so I'm just going to click Next. It's going to pop open this. I select which folder I want to create it in, click Create. The project is now created. So for this, I need to just minimize this. Now I've come to my Bitbucket page. I've created an account and come in, selected which Bitbucket account I'm using, so I'm just going to call this intro repo. Many times you'll hear the repository called a repo. I don't need to put in a description or anything else, so I can just click create repository. That repository is now created because I've already created a project, I'm going to click, I have an existing project. I can see the instructions here on what I need to do in order to set it up. I've opened up a terminal window. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to use a couple of commands to change the directory. That's called CD. So I know that mine, my project is under the Dropbox, under my Dropbox account. I have a folder called iOS stuff. And then I have one called intro. CD is what helps me change directories, and then I just go through the directories. LS will list everything that's in that directory. The next thing that we'll, I will do is I'll do a... Those are just two common things that you'll use within Terminal, CD and LS. Git is what we're going to use for our source control. So we have git status. This tells me what branch I'm working on, and what changes I've made so far. Right now I haven't made any changes to a file. If I make a change, we'll be able to see it. I'll open Xcode back up, go to my view controller, and just put in a couple of lines of white space. Now if we go back and I do the same git status, you can see that one file has been added, so or updated. So I'm going to do a git add-a with a capital A, and this is going to add all of those changes. Hit enter, and then I do a git status. Git status shows me the changes, and then I use a git commit, dot dash m. That, the dot means I'm committing everything. The m is a message. Then I put a message in that says starting. I am good from there on out. I do a git status again. And you can see that there's nothing to work on. Everything's been committed. However, I need to be able to push all of that information up to the repo. If I come over to this Bitbucket page, you can see that there's this git remote add origin with a URL after it. What this does when I paste it in there is it sets the remote part of the git, of the git uh, version control. After doing that, you can see I do this git push dash u origin all. What this does is it pushes up everything that's committed. I type in my password. Everything is now committed up to that new master branch. From here we can add new files, we can commit those files, and we can move through all of our needs as far as creating new git um, repos we can do that once we're in Bitbucket by just clicking Create, Create Repository. We can create new projects by clicking on Xcode and going into Xcode to find that new project. That should be all that we need in order to create new projects, set up the repositories, and commit the code.